Good afternoon, welcome to Jim O'Neill's World of Weather, clipped on to long range weather forecast discussion for May 7th to the 19th, May 7th to the 11th. The flow will consist, we have a ridge over, over western North America, we have a trough here near the Barren Sea that extends south, we have another trough here over Greenland and eastern Canada with the ridge over the eastern, over the western Atlantic, and that's what the flow is going to look like during this period. We go through the days, we come through the 11th. We don't see very much overall change in the flow. So during this period, expect heavy rainfall uh, for the east early next week. A wave is forecast to develop east of the Rockies and will result in showers and storms for the, uh, for the central and northern plains to the Midwest. The west, the west will remain dry under the ridge. Temperatures are expected to be 10 to 15 degrees above normal. May 10th to the 14th. Here we are at the 12th. The trough is forecast over the Bering Sea again that extends south to off the western Canada coast. And we have a trough over Greenland and uh, eastern Canada with above normal heights across the remainder of the nation. So we go forward in time and we come to the 14th. Miles of good agreement. Then we take a look at the European weeklies that they're forecasting. So for this forecast pattern uh, period, I am forecasting above, near to above normal temperatures for much of the nation. The higher anomalies would be across this area here. Forecast anomalies of 12 degrees or more above normal. Here the anomalies be closer to two degrees above normal. For precipitation, call for below normal precipitation for the West Coast states. For portions of the Southern Plains, the Gulf Coast states, into the Midwest. And the probability of occurrence is 35%. And then we have above normal precipitation forecast here. Probability of occurrence is 45%. May 15th to 19th. Here at the 15th. Oh, Got to go back here. We're gonna, uh, wait, hold on a second. And drag this back. So I have a trough here. We have a ridge over the west. And we have uh, this ridge will slide eastward, resulting in above normal heights across much of the nation. We have our trough that remains across this region here. So as we go to the 19th, the um, this is the GFS has an upper low here. That's the only miles that does. The rest of them have near to above normal heights. And here's the European for this period. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting again above normal temperatures for much of the nation. The highest anomalies be across here, across the west. Forecast anomalies be about eight degrees above normal, closer to two degrees above normal here. And for precipitation, call for uh, below normal precipitation for the West. And I'm forecasting a probability of 45%. And we have above normal precipitation forecast for the Southern Plains. And for the East, probability of occurrence is 45%. Now, um, concerning the system in the Gulf or in the Caribbean. Here's a, here's the Go 16 imagery, and it's upper it's the um, it's an upper level system right now, and chances it looks like it has pretty good spin, but the chances are for it to be uh, anything tropical at this uh, time is low, and um, the system is associated with the surface trough. And the system is forecast in the west over Florida Peninsula on Saturday. Locally heavy rains and gusty winds are possible over portions of the Bahamas, southern Florida through the weekend. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for May 7th and 19th. Thanks for coming to Jim Mullins World of Weather and have a good day.